Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give another tutorial on the RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make the bass and effects sounds for the song Manic by Azari and Third. So let's get right into it and start with the bass. And what I'm going to do here is just open a DRC on a default patch. Okay. And raise master pre-gain and oscillator 1 to maximum. Okay, now envelope generator to amount is okay, so we're gonna drop the cutoff and resonance to zero, like this. And then we go to the decay on the envelope generator one that controls the amplitude of the sound. And this should be okay. We go to envelope generator two, and on the envelope generator two, we drop the sustain to 0.235. And the release is at 0.1, should be okay. On the second sound, what you can do is basically grab a copy, do copy of this sound and paste it here. What I'm going to do is bring it back and just copy it exactly as it is. And the only things that you have to change on this sound is change the envelope generator to, to 0.347, like I have it here. The cutoff frequency is going to be automated, so don't worry about it, but the resonance should be at 0.140. And then the only differences that the sound has is that the decay has to be at 0.222 and the decay on the envelope generator 2 at 0.164. Otherwise, it's exactly the same sound as the first one. One thing that you have to check out is that it has two automations. One is for the filter cutoff, as you can see here. This is the automation for the filter cutoff. And this is the automation for the filter mode. The filter mode will be moving from um, a bandpass filter and a low pass filter here on this face. So it's basically copy, change those two parameters and with this automation you should be fine. So let's go to the next sound which is kind of a laser sound and let's open uh, the RC on a default patch again. Okay, oscillator one, we're going to change it to a triangle wave. Raise master to maximum. Pre-gain to 720. Oscillator one to maximum as well. Envelope generator two. Uh, amount controlling the filter will go to 437, 0.437. Cutoff and resonance at zero. Okay. Envelope generator one. It's perfect on the envelope generator 2. We're going to raise the attack to 0 0.022, the decay to 0 0.293, and the sustain to 0 0.04. It's okay, and the release to 0 0.080. Okay. Oops, sorry. 0 0.080. Okay, now we turn the chorus on like this, with low, high depth, low, low rate. And now we go to the modulation of the pitch. And here we're going to assign oscillator 1, oscillator 2, pitch to be controlled by envelope generator 2. And we're going to raise it to 0.752. Seven five two. Okay, here we have it. This sound is done. And now let's go to the last sound, which is really, really simple. So here we have it and open another DRC on a default patch. And it's really close to the first one. So what we're going to do is also change it to a triangle wave. And master we're going to drop it to 253 sorry 255 pre-gain and oscillator 1 at maximum 
Envelope generator to amount at 0 0.5, okay. Um, cut off at 450. Resonance is 472. Okay. Envelope generator 1 at 0 0.022. Uh, decay at decay at 2 to 2 okay sustain at 0 release at 0 0.3 envelope generator 2 at 0 attack decay at 230 Sustain at zero and release at zero point one. Now we turn on uh, the chorus with low rate and high depth as well, and we're done. Last thing I'm going to explain to you is just that on that second sound that you copied from the first one, one thing that I did was just cut the bass frequencies on with an equalizer, and then one nice way to make a delay. Uh, sorry, to make a st uh, stereo sound out of a mono sound is to duplicate the tracks. As you see, the sound is mono. Uh, but if you just take the right side and you delay it just a tiny bit, less than 30 milliseconds, you, would have, we will, you will have a nice stereo effect like this. Okay, so this is what this simple delay and equalizers are doing. So I think we can now listen to the music that I've recorded before. So let's do it. Okay, I think we've got everything ready, automations ready, everything explained. So I think we're ready, guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So let's now listen. And this was it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It was quite fun to make. All those voices, I just made them and put them there so it gives you a little bit more context of the song. Remember that we have this Ableton session for you to download on the description below and there you can check out all the automations and things that we've done on this session. If you like this, please subscribe and put a like on our videos and I hope to see you again next week. So goodbye guys.